We are live. Good morning to you. It is Wednesday. I have to stop and think. I have no idea. Uh, good morning. How are you? Welcome to Natasha Makes. I'm Natasha. We're making something different today. I've got a lot of deals and goodies on my desk for you. Um, part of me loves it. Part of me is like, oh, quick, tidy up. But we're going to have a good look through, have a good rummage, see what I have got for you. I'm excited, actually. There's lots of springtime goodies in here. So if you are looking for a quilt, if you are looking for crafty projects to keep you or the kids happy through Easter, I've got those. I've got lots and lots of goodies. If you're after some bargain fabrics, if you're after some beautiful and bargain fabrics, these are half meter heavens for tomorrow's. If you're after some kits, um, if you're after stuff to decorate your house for Easter, I have got it all here. It's all here. All here. Hey, up. Jane's back. Ba, ba, ba. Ah, look at that. Do you know what? I'm going to put those super bright lights in that, in that one as well. And then we'll just be dazzled. Um, so, <laughs> they're not warm. They're not warming ones, which is really annoying. So, <coughs> where to start really? Let's start by saying good morning to everybody on Facebook, whoever has joined us so far, turning down my volume because that's never a thing uh, that you want to hear yourself. You don't want to hear yourself. No, 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 no. Why do you always sound so different? So when you hear yourself back, you're like, do I actually sound, is that me? Do I? Is it? Um, here we go. Let's have a look. We've got people gradually joining us. Julia's here and Joe's here and Sophie's here. Hello from a cold and wet gates head. Do you know what? It's a bit dreary here, but I can see a beautiful magnolia tree. So it kind of makes me think, and all the flowers are out, so it's making me think. And a little bit, if I look around, a little bit of cherry blossom and some daffodils. So it's kind of making me think that spring is on its way. Jan's here and Jane's here. And I'm sure that other people will be joining us. Oh, Jane's here, another Jane. Jane V and Jane G and Jan G. Oh, all the words. Um, I have got my travel mug coffee this morning because I have been wandering around <laughs> since about half past four this morning. and. Um, Probably got my steps in already, to be honest. Today's fabrics are, we've got all sorts of goodies and we're gonna have a look at some cartonage. Um, if you have never tried cartonage before, it's really good fun and the kids can get involved. So we'll have a look at that. Now, yesterday the corner cabin quilt sold very, 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 very quickly. Where'd it go? Um, so this, we'll be posting this out today when that comes through on the order sheet for us. This was the corner cabin quilt. Now, for some reason, we have cut one too many kits. So I have got one reloaded and available. If anybody would like this, this was demoed a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's got the beautiful Robert Kaufman fabrics. They are absolutely exquisite. And then today we've got whatever we have left of Robert Kaufman's fabrics for you on the show today as well. So it's it's a bitsa show. I did say this yesterday. It's a bits of this, bits of that kind of a show. Um, and we'll just have a look and see where we are at. Um, Gemma is frantically loading stuff from home. Um, Jane is busily cutting and stuffing and Chris is in early to get everything done. We're all busy this morning. It's all been a busy morning. Um, Jan's still thinking how stunning that quilt is from yesterday. It's really impactful, isn't it? I really love it. And I just think it's a very unusual design. And I love the way that you've got those secondary sort of trellis designs going on. And it's just so suited to the new Paisley, Paisley flower from Cave. It really is. It's, yeah, Jane's done a cracking job on that. Um, Jimmy's here. Good afternoon slash evening, Jimmy. Erica's here. Ah, we're all joining. It's a bit of a slow start, isn't it, this morning? It's just been one of those days. So, yes, corner cabin quilt. Here it is. I have got one of these left. I'm just checking it's all there. 
Um, let me pop this. Let me see, let me see, let me see if I can go overhead. Yay, there we go. Right, this is the quilt kit. It's mainly Kaufman. You've got a little bit of Lisa Chandler in there. Then you've got a plane and then the rest are these really exquisite, incredible Kaufmans. We don't have a scratch of that left in the building. Um, I've got one half metre left of that. That is up for sale today. When that is gone, it is gone. I um, don't think I've got any of that one left either. And I've got a little bit of that left. We'll have a look. But that is the kit. I've got one kit left and then it is gone. Bye-bye. Can't get any more of those fabrics. I did try. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's pop that there. I'm going to run out of um, <laughs> going to run out of room, aren't I? Right. One half meter of that stunning, glorious, glorious Kaufman fabric. That's all I have left of that, and then it's gone. Let me move that out of the way. In fact, let's just go through what I have got left in Kaufman for you this morning. I have got. Um, I think I've got nine half meters of this left and this can be cut in a continuous length. And that's it. So I don't have very much, I don't have any, that's the most I've got out of all the Kaufman. Like I said, I've got a half meter of that, more of that. The rest of them, I believe I have seven units left and that is it. Look at it, it's just beautiful. And the reason that I show you these was actually because of this. This is the Pin Flare Jewelry Draw Unit. It's cartonage and you basically cover cardboard in fabrics. And because that one's got a, what sort of looks goldy on it, I was like, hmm, do you know what? Let's bring out the Kaufman because you don't need a lot. You do not need a lot for this. So we can, we can get stuck in and have a look. Oh, there it is in blue. Just stunning. And again, I've only got seven units of that. If you want a fabric that's gonna directly coordinate, we've got that one. It's a darker shade of blue here, but it picks out the darker shade of blues that are around the edges there. You can just see it pulling. Isn't that nice together? Ooh. Kaufman is the most premium fabric that we stock here. It's, um, yeah. It's more expensive than Liberty, any of those. But it is super, super, super gorgeous. Just the colorings. This actually under the camera looks a bit purpley, but it's actually this royal blue here. There is the purple in it. Because this is a collection, again, you can mix and match. The only Kaufman that I've got here that isn't in that collection, but that would make beautiful, beautiful fabrics fabric coverings and I don't know if you can see the gold metallic on there I've got a few more units of that but that's it this has been such a useful one such a useful blender it's absolutely beautiful so they are the Kaufman that is all I have left in terms of Kaufman's all over the place but if you've used them then you know you know that they make up into things like this. This is the pattern for my M frames. It's available online. We've got it there. Imagine this with that blue. I mean, how stunning would that be? I've got this in antique brass and gunmetal back in stock. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, so that is that. And then, 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 excuse me while I just dance around and pop these up here. Um, okay, now I've got a little bundle for you. I don't know if you guys can ever see, but on my desk I normally have this. And it's been so useful. This is exactly how it is. Um, what have I got in there? Oh, I've got some nail varnish uh, spray enhancer there. I have got some multi-surface paint in there. I've got some perfume. Oh, that's a nice one. Um, I've got some lip gloss. What else? Hand cream in there. 
Sharpie pen I've got, so they're roomy. I've got some disinfectant spray. I've got a ribbon uh, thingy. Oh, oh, I've got my um, night vision torch for the Lewis and Irene glow in the dark fabric. I've got a spare pair of glasses when I can't find them. Uh, I've also got, oh, oh, some crystal parade pretty uh, crystals in there. And I've got a spare pair of scissors for cutting the maps out of Mabel's ears. All in one little top. <coughs> so, they are roomy. I think we can tell. It's like going through someone's handbag, isn't it? It's quite personal what people keep in their little baskets. Um, but these were originally done as kind of Easter type baskets. Uh, and so, what we've done is, because Easter is on its way, we've put together a little bundle so that you can get You'll probably make, you're getting the gift basket for free, instructions for free, and you've got the template on the back. Uh, two fat quarters. Okay, so you can make two of these baskets out of this bundle. You've got um, Macawa fabric, and you've got the bunny rabbits on there. So if you're going for this one, then maybe they could be Easter baskets. Maybe they're going to be in your bedroom, maybe they're going to be in a little one's bedroom. But you're, we're putting in the pattern for free. That's the, that's the deal today. And then we've got the grey version with the cheeky pink spots. So maybe you've got grandkids and you want to do them a little Easter basket. Each, if you bought each of those sets, it'd be making four. You keep some for yourself. So they are also on today's show. It's a busy one today. There we go. Right, 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 right. It's where to put it all. That's the trouble that I've got today. Um, I'm going to need these glues. This is back in stock, Pin Flare Glue Gel. I don't know if you've ever used this before. It's blinking brilliant. And um, I would suggest always getting the set with the syringe and the windy downy thing. When you have finished that glue, pop that on your toothpaste so that you can wind down your toothpaste tube um, and not have any waste. It's blinking brilliant. Um, and the syringe is just really, really useful. I have loads of these filled with, with a bit of glue syringe. Uh, and that's what we did Emily's Easter hat with yesterday, which she's so thrilled with because you can get really accurate with it. So I would always go for the ones, the full kit. Um, but binding glue, we're going to use that today on the pin flare cartonage. I don't know if I've actually got any left in here. I use this for covering my journals, um, but also it's brilliant for cartonage. I'll use up the scrapes out of that one and then start a fresh new one. But it's just one, it's just a glue to always have in your stash. It's really, really handy. I have a drawer full of different adhesives. That sounds really weird and wrong, doesn't it? But it just is how it goes. Right, in here, I don't know how many of you make Easter wreaths. I don't know, but if you do, I have a really beautiful kit for you here. I've only got nine of them, that's it. Um, you have got a light willow. I've got to try, Chris has made these up so beautifully. Uh, it's got the jute stuff to hang anyway. If I tip it all out, then I can put it in neatly again, can't I? So you've got, that's 25 and a half centimetres wide. You have got wooden bunnies, plain wooden bunnies with sticky bits on the back so you can stick them on. Go for your pin flare glue though. Stick them on with that as well. You've got bunnies here of different, you've got some sort of sitting bunnies, you've got sitting uppy bunnies, lying down bunnies, and they've all got fluffy tails. They are coming in here as well. You have got, each one has got four bunches of beautiful primrose colored roses. You have got a meter, whoops, of this gorgeous, gorgeous. No, you've got more than a meter. You've got several meters in here. I've got that wrong, Gemma. I know that I said it was only a metre, but it's not. You have got four metres. Four metres? Yeah, four metres. 
of this is absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, Gemma, can you just amend that on the um, on the description? Four meters of that, I believe, because that was the one that came on the thirteen point seven meter jobby thing, and we made three kits out of it. Each one that came. Uh, you've got these beautiful little paper rosebuds, aren't they gorgeous? They're in there as well to go with your then yellow roses. I just think this is the most beautiful bundle. I'm kind of sad I haven't saved one for myself to do with the kids, actually. And then here you've got bees on sticks. So they can be, they can be buzzing through everywhere and you just need to thread them through and you can have them buzzing out of there. So it's a really, really beautiful little kit. Let me pop those there so they don't get damaged. And this should have been, oh, this should have been over 30 pounds for everything that's in there. There's a lot in there, but we've put it at half price. That's 14.99 for all of that. Like I say, I've got nine and then they're done and they're gone and that's it. Now, if you are celebrating or decorating for, Chris, uh, for Christmas, for Easter, and I really like to, I like to celebrate spring. I like to put up spring-like colors. I found these. Um, it's from the company Bridal, who do all celebration stuff. You get three of each colour, mink, coral, um, you've got a pale pink there and a mint colour there. And you get them in 10 centimetre honeycomb balls, and then you get three in the 20 centimetre balls there. Um, and then you're also getting, in the rose gold, you are getting, again, just to decorate around the place, some rose gold hearts, three rose gold hearts, no, four, four rose gold hearts, four rose gold do, 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 do. <coughs> stars, and two sprays of flowers, rose gold flowers. I know in the description it sounds like you only get two flowers, it's two sprays of flowers there. Now, if you're wondering what these look like, They look like this. They're so beautiful. I always have different shapes of these that I decorate at Christmas with. Um, but you've got the grey, you've got the pink, you've got the mint, and you've got the coral. Aren't they gorgeous? I love these together. Um, so. <laughs> If you're wondering what that looks like <laughs> when, when you make them all up, this looks like, looks like this. <laughs> and, uh, and you just, there's double-sided sticky on there. They've already got the hanging thing on. I think I've got like three of these sets. Um, and then I might be able to get more if people want more, but... They are just so much fun. And again, these should have been a lot of money. Each one of these should sell for quite a lot of money, but I managed to get a really good deal on them. And I just think they're incredibly pretty. So we're gonna be having some of these in our sitting room, uh, in our kitchen rather, on the dresser, because they're gonna look really beautiful decorating the dresser. And then the rest, Emily wants hanging up um, on the underneath of her bunk bed, which sounds fair. And so we're going to decorate our house for Easter. They're the little 10 centimetre ones. They're just so pretty though, aren't they? Really, really, really gorgeous. And this is what this kit looks like. So you can decorate entire rooms with these. This will, this will decorate two rooms for us, for sure. And they sort of, they overflow. I just think they're gorgeous. I love these. Like I say, I've got ones in Christmassy colours that I bring out every year at Christmas, and it's just a really inexpensive way to decorate your home. I think all of these ended up being like $12.99 or something, $14.99, $14.99. And they should, again, they should have been a lot more. So if you are decorating for springtime or parties or birthdays or christenings or anything like that, and of course you get all of those, which you might just want to just celebrate and 
up in the tops of cakes if you've got the kids coming around. I've only got three of those. Could possibly get more if you wanted. I just think it's lovely. All right. Bolt ends. Bolt ends, bolt ends. I know that today's cartonage, and I've got three kits for you today, works really well with ditzes. So let me show you these. Um, so we've got the Caddy Carry. That takes a half metre of fabric. This one takes a fat quarter, and I think this one is a, this is a long quarter. So this is your jewellery drawer unit. And what you get in here is all the card. And it's die cut for precision, and you're good to go. I love the little handy bag, which you can put your spools in. And it's even got, I don't know if you can see it, it's got the stuff to um, cover for the handles. Really, really handy. Makeup, sewing kit, whatever it is that you fancy. And then there's the cartonage carry all. If you are wondering, do they last? What's the longevity of them? A couple of years ago, I made this one. You might, again, you might see this on my desk a lot. I take this to and fro to create and craft. It is amazing, it's a spinning one, how much you can actually fit in here. I did this, I covered this in William Morris and I just love it. In fact, I'd quite like one with all my makeup in. Would be really handy. Um, so yeah, they, the longevity of this. It, this took a little bit of time to make because there's lots and lots of parts on this particular one, but we did do a show on it. Um, and I just, I would just, they last and last and last and last and last. And everywhere I go, people go, oh, where did you get that? I love, sorry, flashing a bit of flesh at you. Um, everyone says, oh, I really, really love that. Where did you get it from? We made it here. So the carry caddy, I think, is going to be really, really useful. Great storage. Um, your little jewellery drawer, maybe you're going away somewhere, you want to take your jewellery with you. Absolutely perfect. Now, the other deal that I have got for you, and this is really quite a deal, and I'm not sure how many of you spotted it. So let me just change the angle here. We'll get into these. So I've got bolt ends to show you for those. But before I get there, they are the bolt ends of these bundles. Now, on your Friday deal, you had that you could get six long quarters of the country cuttings. Here they are. This is one colorway. These are your purples and your blues. So here are your six long quarters. Really, really gorgeous. And a full meter of dimple fleece for free. I am putting that in for free. I haven't inflated this price or anything else. I have simply added you a meter of fleece in for free. That's the deal. In my head, this is gonna be cuddle quilts. Um, cuddle quilts, the uh, rag quilts. So where you just cut 10 inch squares sew them together, blah, 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 blah. That's what I had in mind for these. So if you haven't seen the rag quilts that we do, take a look because these would be absolutely perfect. These are a big bolt as well. I think they're 56 inches wide and it's a meter piece. I've got it in blue. When these are gone, they are gone. Okay, but we are giving you a meter of fleece, which is a big, big chunk. This was an incredible deal, a really incredible deal. If you want to stock up on extra fleece, I've got two meter pieces of the white left, that's it. Um, a few more in the pink, a few more in the blue. If you would like the yellows, the yellows are come with the white for free. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? You see, I bought these country cut cuttings because I thought they looked a little bit Liberty-esque without, without the price tag. So they are your six long quarters there. So you pay for a metre and a half of fabric and you get two and a half metres of fabric. It's not bad, is it? That's your blues and yellows option. Now you might get all three, because this is the pinks. And if you decide to go for all three, well then great, you've got three metres of fabric 
of the dimple fleece. This is the other side of the dimple fleece, actually. It's lovely and soft. It's, it's like clouds. There's your dimple, that side. And we have got... These are the pinks. So again, six long quarters here and the fleece for free. Some of you have already filled your boots on that and I do not blame you. But these are listed and loaded. If you went for all three, you'd have the white, the blue, the pink fleece coming all for free. <coughs> and you would have 18 long quarters of beautiful, all coordinating. This is all from the same collection, all coordinating fabrics, which I just think is gorgeous. Right, so that's that. Shall we have a look at Half Meter Heavens for tomorrow? Shall we, shall we, shall we? We have got a lot to photograph and load. I really need to get our, our light box up and running again. Right, we have got the seven berry tulips in blue and cream, and this is with duck egg. Shall I do, actually, do you know what? I might do this. These on a little closety, closety, uppity, uppity. Um, there's my shoulder. That's not going to be useful, is it? Let's go over to here. Here we are. So these go live tomorrow. For those of you that have never explored our half meter heavens, you get a half meter of designer fabric, and then we find a lovely coordinating half meter of a plane for you, and they go out at $9.99 for a whole meter of fabric made up of these two half meters. That's how that works. They go live at midnight when they're gone. Normally they're gone. Occasionally we can make up some more if it's not earmarked for another project somewhere else. Oh, these are beautiful. So this is your seven berry vintage floral. We've put this with coral. This is a broadcloth. It feels, it's basically like a um, ah, cotton lawn. I love lawn cotton to work with. It's just, it's so, so durable and so strong. The fibres are thinner, the, the fabric feels so silky and so beautiful, but it's resilient and it's so sturdy. Um, this is your Seven Berry Vintage Floral in blue and white. So same pattern, different blues. We made um, Dave's bum bag out of this. If you're wondering who Dave is, Dave is our duck. And when he was first born, none of the other eggs hatched. So he was the only one left. Well, he was the only one. So we had to put him in a bum bag and carry him around with us so that he would nestle down and sleep like he was under the wing. Um, and that was the inside of his, <laughs> his bum bag. We've put these with all different blues because they just suit that different shade. And again, this is another beautiful thing of the half meter heavens. Is that we've done the hard work for you. We've matched it with the colors. Jane and I went through these meticulously this morning going here, which blue, which blue looks best. And we get out all the blues and we spread them all out. We make a mess and we find the ones that we think are absolutely perfect for you. Right. Uh, we have got the seven berry floral blue and cream. I absolutely adore this one. We've put this with cadet blue. It's just so delicate. Again, these are all this um, cotton lawn feeling fabrics. They're beautiful to work with, really beautiful. They make stunning bags and pouches, by the way. Now, we've used this one in the past. This sold out when we first brought this to wear. Do you remember when we made the pleated... Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. When we made the pleated pencil cases, that's that fabric. We matched it, though, at the time with a paisley. No, not with a paisley, with a floral. Ooh. Yeah, we did a, a, a duo of florals. But that's the pleated pouch, and that has got... Hmm, that's got some of my lovely... My fountain pens and Tippex and all sorts in there, dressmaking pens, all sorts of stuff. I've got so many pencil cases, it's untrue. But there we go, that's another one there. That's what we made with that when that first came to air. I've got one each of these. These are from the Pool Party collection. If you love a parrot, who doesn't? Then Jane has put that with pink. These parrots are with sapphire. Lovely, lovely. I have got boats. Oh, these are fun. You can make something fun for the kids with these. Maybe you want to get that gift basket, make some gift baskets out of this. Have a little tidy up with that. Uh, we've got the pool party montage in uh, with orange. 
maybe you're making your beach bags ready for this year. I did post this morning, I don't know if you, any of you saw, there's a funny, funny comedian, um, and he, he, just, he just gets family life. And, uh, and his little skit today was about being summer body ready. And it just made me laugh. One body fits all, so to speak. Um, uh, this is your pool party lollies. And that's with Aqua. Just gorgeous. Why? Right, can someone tell me? <coughs> you know when they do raspberry flavoured things? Why is it this colour? So when? When are raspberries ever that colour? Because this is clearly a raspberry ice cream. But when? When is, when is raspberry? I, I don't understand. Can someone tell me, please? Why is raspberry that weird colour um, in ice creams and stuff like that? And ice lollies. Ah, oh, the flamingos with fuchsia. Again, just one of these. So if you want these, you're going to have to be quick, quick, quick. Um, you've got the boats. I just see a little boy's shirt in that. That's what I'd like to see. Uh, we have got pool party in the pink with sky. Helps if I actually hold it with a camera. Pick it up. I told you we got a lot of these. Uh, and then a lot, a lot of half meet heavens, but only one of each in these ones in the pool party collection. And then this is the very last. I've got three of these. This is the Sanderson. Isn't it exquisite? But there is that soft, soft pink in that rose there that we've picked out with the blush. When you get it home, you'll see that matches exactly. And it's really stunning. I've got three half meters of that and that's it. I've got six of the Sue Pen Butterfly. Now, out of the rest of this collection, we made um, the zipper tote. And it flew, absolutely flew. We just didn't put this in with any of it. So we had this left over. Uh, and then this is the last of the bird in red, bird tree in red from the latest Tilda collection. And then that is that. That's it. That is your half meter heaven collection. Whew, done. Told you, there's a lot on the show today, an awful lot. Let me pop that there. Whoops. Knock the button down. We're all good. Now, because I cut all of these kits, it did mean that I then had bolt ends. Now, I know that Gemma and SJ are team loading everything because I did this at Silly O'Clock this morning and was sending them through the weights and the photographs and everything. Um, I know they are team loading these as we speak. Do you want to have a look at them? These are the last of the country cuttings. So if you've got a favourite in there or if you're buying some of the cartonage kits and they really are suited. They look beautiful in cartonage because it's that small print, isn't it? Uh, then let's have a look at these. When they're gone, they are gone. Um, so I've got 95 centimetres left of this ditzy. Do you know what? Because it's a ditzy, let's pop you onto a close-up here, shall we? Here we go. I've got 95 centimetres of this one. They don't have fancy names. They just have codes, I'm afraid. So you'd be looking for 006P. That's the style number. And then the colour pink, that's it. If you would like country cuttings, this is 003G. Again, I think this looks very Liberty-esque. In yellow, we've got 004Y, because we can. Gorgeous. 002Y, the Y is obviously yellow. So if you fancy a little bit of these ditzies, this is what we've got left. I've only got 65 centimetres of this one. This was a very popular one. 005, again, Y. Um, and then this one, I've got 80 centimetres left of. 001, Y. 005, L. Just stands for light. 
all those tiny, tiny ditzy florals, beautiful. 004P. There. Um, 006L. Now again, um, 002P for pink. And this is 001P. I love this one. Zero zero five P is this one? Do you know what else these would lend themselves to? Actually, really, really beautifully, and that is the hexagon um, pincushion and scissor key. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the zero zero two L. Zero zero three L zero zero one L. I sat, I feel like I'm doing like the football scores. And then zero zero three B there in that beautiful blue. There we go. There's a lot, right? There's a lot. Um, and it is, it is all last chance saloon. Right. Let's have a play, shall we? So we've got the carry caddy. And if you haven't seen these before, they are so much fun to do. Like I say, you are gonna need some book binding glue. I've nearly run out. There we go. Some sort of spatula affair or a brush or something. Uh, Christine is just lovely who runs Pin Flare. I've worked with her a lot over the years at Crate and Craft. Um, I think she did like one of the very first Crate and Craft shows ever. She's actually getting set to retire quite sad about like I always like bumping into her so these are the bits and bobs that you get in your kit so these are the handles this is the carry part of it and it goes together so cleverly I'm going to show you um, one two three four so you get and it is worth just sorting these out into into bits the thick bits are the construction side. So these are going to be like the outsides of the boxes. Basically, this breaks down into two boxes there and there. And then you get these thin inner bits. So you'll cover these and they will sit inside. So you don't have to be really neat and tidy. So I would just sort them out so that you've got the thick construction ones and then these are the thinner ones that will go on the insides um, so that it looks really smart. And then you've got end bits to cover, construction ends, And then this, this is, um, oh, it's that adhesive paper that's just gonna hold everything together. It's really clever. Should we have a go? Do we have a go? Let's have a go. So, what shall we do it in? Oh, 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 oh. And by the way, if you are buying that perfect for printing, we've got a deal on. <coughs> 9.99 gives you a meter of perfect for printing, plain, white fabric for this week we'll be adding the easter stamps in for free if you want those if you're a stamper or a crafter and you want to stamp onto fabric you've got happy easter from the easter bunny so you can do your fabric labels to go or you can just get you can um stamp your easter bunnies all the way around it's up to you 
you can do your labels, you can do whatever you like. They're not just for fabric, that, that stamp set. You can use them on anything. Um, it's just that we found printing fabric that was absolutely perfect. So that is there for you. Right. Okay, until socks last, while socks last and all of that um, bobbins. Right, what colour should we do this in? Decisions, decisions. Are we going to go country cuttings or are we going to go, shall I delve into <gasps> my Calvin draw? Ooh. <laughs> I might. We've got, we've got some of this for sale today. And I just think maybe, maybe, maybe I might have a little bit of fun, be a little bit decadent. Only because this is the bigger of the ones. The, the smaller kits are going to look absolutely glorious for this. Or if you want them decadent, maybe the jewellery one, you know, you could fussy cut some of that on so that it's as opulent on the outside as it is on the inside. I think I'm going to go ridiculous and do this because I can. Let me pop my little iron on. So that, oh. Is everybody all right? Can I just check, check in on you? My goodness, there's been an awful lot of chat. From me, I don't know about you lot, because I've been chatting to myself. Jim will be back soon. Let's see, is everybody okay? Lowe's sort of here, me too. I'm just sort of here, that's it. Uh, Jane needs to go shopping, so she'll catch up with the rest of the show later. Have a great weekend and the rest of the week. Um, am I gonna make Dave the Duck a carry caddy? I kind of feel like most things get relegated either to the children or the duck at the moment, which feels a little bit unfair. Oh, the party decorations would make, yeah, they'd be amazing for um, baby showers, wouldn't they? I'm not about to have a baby shower unless we give Dave a baby shower. Can you have a duck shower? I don't know. I mean, it sounds wet. He'd love that, right? Um, morning, Sue. Uh, Sue, we loved, we loved your email this morning. Uh, yes, please. Um, battery gave out on the laptop. Morning, Joy. I can't scroll back to any more. I'm here, says Lizzie. I'm here. Miss, just very quiet, makes changing you okay. Safe space, you're okay. Uh, Gail's here as well, lovely. Right, uh, hopefully my iron is busily warming up. We've sold out of these now. I was so tentative, because you, the suppliers are um, limiting how many you can buy. I need to see if I can get any more. Jane got all excited. She said, oh, you know that you can change what side the, uh, the lead is on, don't you? I'm like, yeah, I do. However, <laughs> not two minutes before we go to air. She's like, oh yeah, no, good point. Yeah, good point, good point, good point. So give that fabric a quick press. We don't necessarily need to make the whole carry caddy. But I do really want you to get an idea of what it's going to look like. So, and it just uses a half metre of fabric. Okay. So, 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 so. Um, you can fussy cut with this. It's perfect for that. For this and that and this and that. Um. <gasps> and what you would do to start off with um, is to cut a little bit bigger than is needed. Now you can you can go in with your rotary cutters, do all of that. It's 
or you can just hold it down with your hand and do it this way. It's entirely up to you. Now what I would do is on the handle draw around. So where we've got that curve, I would just snip towards, not right onto that curve. And then Again, you can snip round and into the carry handles. I've done lots of these, so I keep bringing them back to wear because I really enjoy them. We did an entire gingerbread man. Gingerbread house, rather. And if you want to even just trim those down a little bit, you can. Probably would have been easier to have done that before I started trimming them all. Just more to clear up. Who doesn't like that, hey? And so, wherever possible, I would generally do this on, well, in fact, I've got a mat that I can wipe clean, so let's just do it on that, shall we? On the back of my heat pressing mat, I can wipe that down. If you've got... Um, yeah, if you've got something like just, just some newspaper or something to put down, then do. Just make sure that you don't damage your fabric. So you've got a curved side. You want that to be the outside. So you're going to put that face down onto your fabric. And then you've got a straight edge side. You're going to get your book binding glue. And wherever possible, you put your glue onto the cardboard, not onto the fabric. And we are... Where is my spatula? We're going to put this on very sparingly. Gosh, talk about um, <coughs> a hammer to crack a nut. I must have a smaller, smaller something somewhere. This feels a little bit ridiculous. Hang on. <laughs> In my glue department, what have I got? Have I really only got massive spatulas? Surely not. I must have something smaller somewhere. Oh, that's better. These are the sort of things that get stolen by my children when they're gluing stuff. Can you bring it back, please? Yeah, of course. Never seen again. Never. And I used to do exactly the same to my dad. And he used to get really, really cross whenever I borrowed any of his tools out of his absolutely immaculate garage. And he had, you know, he had like the outline of all the tools so that he knew exactly what went where. And I now realise how annoying I was. It's taken 43 years and to become a parent myself to realise just what a pain I was. I'm comfortable with that. It's all good. Um, I'm going to use Mabel's ear hair scissors. So glamorous here. Just to trim off those edges. If anyone's new to us, Mabel is my <laughs> very beautiful Cocker Spaniel. However, she does get in the bushes and she does end up with mats in her little ears. So we do have to trim them out. 
Um, she inherited these from my old otter hound, uh, who always had a soggy lady beard, so we used to have to trim hers. But um, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it, the uses you find for your scissors. So whilst this is tacky, we're going to go in and fold these over. Oh, that end up, it's quite meditative, this. And this is, yeah, this is about as complicated as it gets. You might get a little bit gluey. That's all right. We can cope with that. But like I say, if you've got grandkids coming for EC, you want something to do with them, you could always get some of the dinosaur fabric and make some of these. Freddie would love that. I've got some beautiful unicorn fabric actually that I keep meaning to list, but I've got ideas for it. There we go, so that's one side. And you see the thing is, oh, look at that. Is that you'll do the other side and then you glue them together. So you're never going to see all that messiness. So that's how you would do that. That's that part. Now then, now then, now then, let's have a little look. So this is the outside part. And that's going to go onto there. And then... So these sit on the base. And you'll see that's the only way that they all fit on, like that. You have got in here, by the way, step-by-step -step instructions. So it says, making the boxes, take a thick piece, a uh, card piece, and lay it flat to, the f um, flat to form the base of the box. So that's my base of the box there. Take two thick card pieces, um, and with the card pieces sitting on top of the base, apply the glue along the appropriate edges of the card and glue in place. Now, you see, you do have, as well, to help hold it all in place, this. And again, just, you're going to have smoother sides and rougher sides. So let's, let's make up one of these boxes. So you'll make both the boxes up individually. Do, 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 do. The nice thing about the book binding glue is that it's got a quick grab. Lean that against there. And you'll soon see which are the thicker pieces and which are the thinner pieces. See, it's not, it's not hard. They are sort of, whoops, falling over. <laughs> what you find yourself doing is reaching for things to kind of lean them up against until you've got everything in place. There we go. Pop that there. So that's going to go on the end. And that's going to sit in there. So I want to apply glue on three sides for this one. And again, if you can try not to be too messy with it. I mean, anyone that knows me knows that I am just so messy. But trying not to be. So that's going to sit in there. Thank you. 
Oh, a big congratulations to my cousin and her other half who just got engaged. I'm really thrilled for them. Such lovely news. Who didn't love a wedding, eh? That's a beautiful thing. Like a bit of nice family news. And my other cousins just had another little baby girl. There we are. So it's all going on. If you've got four corners, what I would do reinforce those edges just damp it down and then that will hold everything in place I'm sure you could probably do it with a sponge but as it's for me <laughs> it's like licking the ice cream going nobody else mine now nobody else can have any of this it's mine I've licked it so it's mine I see that's how it goes Could you imagine, like two years ago, if I'd have licked something live on air, there'd have been absolute uproar, wouldn't there? How far we've come. But it is just me in the studio, and it is mine, so I don't think it really matters. But yeah, you'd have really copped it, wouldn't you? So then, so then, so then, um, you are going to... Cover the bottom, okay, and they will just, they will go around there. Um, and it just needs to be 10 mil bigger than the underside of the box. Should we do that? I mean, if you can't eyeball what 10 mil looks like, it's just got to be a bit bigger. Don't worry about it. It's just got to be a bit bigger. Whee! Let's move that to there. Let's bring this in. And it's the bottom of the box, so I don't really, I don't need necessarily to fussy cut it. Um, shall I do this with a little rotary cutter? Part of me feels like, what could possibly go wrong? And then I realise it's me. <laughs> Everything, Everything could go wrong. You know, it's like on the great British sewing bee when they start freehanding with the rotary cutters and you go, how many of these guys have ever actually used a rotary cutter in their life? It scares me. Right, so when you then put that on there, wow, I made that huge, didn't I? Only needs to be a centimetre bigger. Ear scissors out. And if you want to, you can just mark those corners. We're going to mitre this. The mighty mitre. So just cut diagonally across. Just reduces bulk. If only it were that easy, right? There we go. And again, that thing of add the glue to the cardboard. I was about to go in on the fabric then. No, 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 no. Add the glue to the cardboard. And sparingly, that's the other thing. You really don't need loads and loads and loads on this because you don't really want it oozing through your fabrics. And then just round, round those sides. Now. 
So if I were going to make an exception as to when I might go onto the fabric, it would be now, just sort of on those bits, but even so, we can manage. Whee. Turn my iron on again in a minute because what we will do with the next bit. There you go, so that's the bottom of it, Dan. Oh, it's shaping up so beautifully, isn't it? This is gonna look so decadent. So, so decadent. Um, slurp the coffee. So we're gonna cut a strip. Uh, 650 millimeters, so 65 centimeters by Ten and a half centimeters. Good grief! Where are the inches? Where are the inches? Hey Siri, what is six hundred and fifty millimeters in inches? Six hundred and fifty millimeters is twenty-five point five nine inches. Good. And um, hey Siri, what is one hundred and five millimeters in inches? One hundred and five millimeters is four point one three inches. Thanks. Right, we're good. <laughs> Always good to know. Oh, oh, she's got manners. Excellent. <laughs> Brilliant. I do say to my kids, um, technology is going to take over the world. Be nice to it. Because <coughs> it's always listening. Case in point. <laughs> Ah, righty-ho, uh, let's cut a strip, crikey, um, off this, uh, I'm just going to go four and a half inches, let's do that, <laughs> yeah, you do want to be nice technology for sure. Now, my nice rope, you cut it in somewhere. Do I know where? No. No, I do not. Okay. So, this needs to be 25 and a half. So that's what go with 13 inches and see where we get to with that. Okay, um, and you are going to fold over a hem. Yeah. Just have a look if you've got a directional print, make sure that you are. Now, that's a centimetre-ish, isn't it? I, I'm not too worried because I did cut it a bit bigger than Siri said. Naughty me, eh? Um, 
the other thing is, if you didn't want to do it this way, because you do sort of need this, this hem to be straight. So the other way that you can do it, of course, is with your quilter's wash away tape. This isn't in the instructions. But you could always, I think I'm going to do that as well, so that I know that it's stuck down. Sometimes it's just quicker and easier. Oh, ayo. Here we go. Hurrah for quilters wash away tape, I say. But then that you know you're going to get that even. That even width. Take time so that you do get the even width. You know, don't you? I say this all the time. If you apply heat to your quilters wash away tape, you know that that just gives it greater stickability, right? Okay. We're going to be ridiculously decadent. So this is going to fold over. And what I will do, because this is meant to meet halfway, is just trim one of these back. Yeah, so they do meet. There we go. And that's meant to meet in the middle, just so that things are just nice, nice and even. If you don't have quarters wash away tape, why not? Why not, why not? It's really useful. And so we're going to start applying the glue onto here. Now it's time to get out the big boy. Look at that. There we go. Find that middle bit. And the middle bit of your box. Just going to roll it back onto it, I think. And you just want to be that, have that hemmed edge flush along there. Okay. Then you turn it round. These make really beautiful gifts. And um, you know, you could do you could do a set of them. So you could do the caddy. What I got were ones that I thought would make would sort of complement each other. So you've got this caddy that you could use to tidy up your dressing room area, pop your makeup, your cosmetics and stuff in. And then you've got the jewelry one, beautiful. And then you've also got the, um, well, it says it's a sewing one. So if you want to pop your sewing stuff in there as well, but more jewelry or makeup or whatever, it's also perfect for makeup and whatnot for on the go. So if you are gifting, you could, you know, this could really make someone's dressing table or something, make it look really lovely, couldn't it? And zhuzh up a room inexpensively with a metre of fabric, 
you'd get all three of those things done. And they don't have to be. I thought the Sanderson's getting some half metres of the Sanderson's. Or if you want to do it with half metre heavens, then you could always do the linings in different colours at the inside bits. really make sure I don't have any creases. And then what you'll do is snip down in line with the corners. Like so. And then you just glue those in place in there. Now, so you do that. I mean, this is looking rather splendid, isn't it? Really rather gorgeous. And so you'll do the other box and then You'll do that. Now inside, you know how we, oh no, there we go. You know how we covered these? For those thin pieces, you will just cover those as we did this and then place them inside along the edges and there and on the sides there, the ends there, so that they look all completely done. It's so, so lovely. And that's it. I mean, you can watch me stick and glue um, for the next half hour whilst I finish that off. Um, but it just, they're really lovely. So give them a go. They're very beautiful. Um, the book binding glue is a must for these. They just make life. It's just the best stuff for it. And then you've got fabric that you can cover your journals in as well. So maybe you're going to do, use the uh, the caddy as a desk tidy. Maybe you'll then want to cover a journal or a notebook or something as well. Um, and yeah, lots and lots of ideas. Grab your fleece that's free when you buy your bundle. Um, like I say, you've got your Easter wreaths. One last um, corner cabin quilt bundle left. And that's the last of the Kaufmans there. We've got bolt ends loaded. We're all good to go. Ha, ah, there we go. Half Meter Heavens you've seen for tomorrow. They go live at midnight. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Take care, have a good one, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.